Namaste. How are you all? So today's class is about stress relief and we'll be starting with standing asanas. So come to your mat and relax your body and mind and join your hands in front of your heart center and close your eyes. Relax your body and mind. Take a deep inhalation. Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And now we will chant Om three times. Take a deep inhalation. deep inhalation as you exhale slowly bow your head down and gently relax your arms and open your eyes so we'll start with Tadasana it's a very nice asana because you know it stretches your entire spine it releases energy blockages from your entire spine so let's start yeah interlock your fingers palms facing outwards and as you inhale come on your toes and as you exhale, come back down. Let's do this for a few rounds and look in the front. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Relax your arms, bring your hands down. And now we would be doing Bandha Hasta Uttan Asana. So as you inhale, bring your, sorry, bring your hands to center. And as you inhale, cross your arms up. And as you exhale, bring your arms back down. So let's do this for a few rounds. Inhale, exhale. Look front, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, relax your arms and now we would be doing Teriyaki Tad Asana. So interlock your fingers, palms facing outwards, open your legs a little bit and as you inhale, Move your hands to right side and then as you exhale, come back to center and then inhale to left, exhale, come back to center. Let's do this for a few rounds and don't worry if you're going only this much down, all right? Just do as much as your body can do and remember to take deep breaths. Come on, let's start. One, exhale, two, Exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, exhale, six, exhale, seven, exhale, eight, Exhale, nine, exhale, ten, exhale. Relax your arms. And now we would be doing Teriyaki Kati Chakra Asana. I'll show you from this side. So yeah, take your hips a little bit back and straighten your spine. Now, interlock your fingers and bring your arms in the front. And now, one, Exhale. One. 
वन एक्जेल टू एक्जेल थ्री एक्जेल फोर एक्जेल फाइव एक्जेल सिक्स एक्जेल सेवेन एक्जेल एट एक्जेल नाइन एक्जेल टेन एक्जेल एंड रिलैक्स कम बैक टू सेंटर शेक योर आर्म्स रिलैक्स योर हैंड्स एंड नाउ वी वुड बी डूइंग उथी त्रिकोण आसना सो ओपन योर लेग्स नाइस एंड वाइड ऑल राइट एंड देन टेक योर राइट लेग टुवर्ड्स राइट साइड and left feet is pointing a little bit towards right side now squeeze your knees up tighten your knees and then take your right hand on your right ankle and your left hand up take a few deep breaths feel the nice flow of energy in your entire body and then come back to center now your left feet goes on left side and your right feet is pointing towards left side once again squeeze your knees up tighten your knees and then take your left hand on your left ankle and then straighten your right hand look at your right hand take nice and deep breaths and then gently come back to center and now we are doing uthit parsvakon asana extended side angle so take your right feet on right side and left feet 30 degrees a little bit and then bend your right leg all right and then place your hands on place your right hand on the mat and then extend your left hand look at your left palm take a few deep breaths here and then gently come back to center now take your left feet towards left side and right feet a little bit towards 30 degrees tighten your knees and then bend your left leg keep your left hand near to your left leg and then extend your right arm look at your right palm and then gently come back to center and now we are doing revolved triangle so take your right feet to right side once again tighten your knees and then bend your right leg a little bit place your left hand near to your right leg and then extend your right hand up come back to center and now left feet goes on left side right feet pointing 30 degrees bend your left leg place your right hand near to your left feet and then straighten your left hand take deep breaths and then gently come back to center and now prasarata padottan asana take both your hands down on the mat elbows facing backwards and look down look back take a few deep breaths keep your knees tight here
gently come back up and now interlock your fingers behind your back and then first bring your heart down your chest down and then bring your arms up yeah so this gives a very nice opening very nice stretch to your upper back yeah and remember tighten your knees and then gently come back up and yeah bring your legs together for a bit rest into child's pose yeah extend your arms in the front and stretch your arms yeah relax your entire body and your mind yeah And now sit back up now come into boat pose all right yeah straighten your legs and straighten your arms yeah so keep your spine straight okay don't make a hunch in your back all right straighten your spine and look straight and relax for a bit we'll do one more round of boat pose no kasana and then once again straighten your legs and then make balance yeah keep your spine straight and relax now from boat pose come to singarjan asana so sit on your knees but your legs are open wide and then adjust your hands below your calf muscles hmm. so sit nice and easy in this posture and we'll inhale through nose and exhale through mouth all right so we'll do this for a few rounds. Come on, take a deep inhalation. Very nice. Now, release your hands, all right? And now, we would be doing camel's pose. So, sit on your knees and then stand on your knees. Take your right hand on your right heel and left hand on your left heel. And then push your chest forward. Take a few inhalations and exhalations here. And gently come back and now lay down on your abdomen keep your hands near to your chest so we are doing Shashank Bhujang Asana so inhale while you are in uh, Bhujang Asana and exhale when you go back to child's pose so let's do this for a few rounds inhale exhale inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale and rest a little bit in child's pose.
are gently come back up and now take your legs up the wall so touch your hips to the wall and take your legs up like this yeah so this gives a very nice relaxation to your body and mind yeah and open your legs if you want you can keep a cushion below your hips and open your hands like this take deep and relaxing breaths here Now bring your left leg to center and touch your right leg on the mat or on the ground. Yeah, and take a few deep breaths here. Bring your right leg up and this time take your left leg down on the mat and take a few deep breaths here. And now bring your left leg up. Now make a butterfly with your both legs on the wall. Baddhikon asana but on the wall and then open your hands. Take a few deep breaths here. And gently bring your legs back down and now lay down in Shavasana yeah your legs are not touching each other and your hands are not touching your body close your eyes and relax your entire body and take a few relaxing breaths here And now stretch your hands and your legs and sit in a comfortable position. So I'm sitting in Padmasana. You can sit in Sukhasana if you want in a cross-legged posture. So we'll be doing Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. So this is Anulom Vilom Pranayam, but our index finger and middle finger is between our eyebrow center. Keep your thumb on your right nostril yeah inhale from left nostril and then close your left nostril exhale from right nostril and then inhale back from right nostril close it with your thumb release your ring finger from left nostril and exhale and then inhale back Close your left nostril and then release your thumb and exhale from right nostril. So we'll do this for a few rounds. Take deep inhalations and exhalations. Try and count till four while you are inhaling and count till four while you are exhaling. Close your eyes, keep your jaws relaxed and enjoy and just let go of everything. Yeah, let's start.
and relax bring your hand down on your thighs and try to feel any changes you feel to your body and mind just observe the changes And now we would be doing Brahmari Pranayam. So keep your four fingers on your skull and lightly, loosely close your ears. Keep your jaws relaxed, close your eyes and we'll make a humming bee sound for five rounds. Yeah, let's do this. Make big sound. Mm. So after five rounds, bring, bring your hands back to your knees and then keep your eyes, keep your eyes closed and try to feel the vibration on your face. And now join your hands in front of your heart. We'll end the session by chanting one Om Tri Shanti together. Take a deep inhalation. Rub your palms and place them on your eyes and on your cheeks. Thank you so much for doing yoga with me and I hope you're feeling better already. And do let me know in the comment section how you felt after the class. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care.